My newest work is called New Directions, which is actually old directions seen in a new way. Iconic imagery and random marks. Um, can you can you kind of talk any more about for you where those come from? Well, I try when I'm applying paint or pencil or whatever medium I'm using. I'm trying to live in the moment with the gesture so that it's there's a certain control about <clears throat> where I think I want the painting to go, but not enough control where it becomes contrived. I like kind of a spontaneity approach to uh, to laying down the medium. And um, so the marks, the random marks, the random shapes, I'm playing them off each other to give a gestural feeling of um, push-pull. Um, so I'm layering the media to give it depth, but there's also a flatness to the surface that I like, so that it takes away from the, the, the landscape or some kind of pictorial depth. I want a depth that's that is captured in the space of the frame without being a landscape. It's, it's more of a, a narrative that can be read across the canvas. So some of these paintings are actually several paintings on top of each other. But what's coming through from the previous paintings, if I allow that, um, is a sense of time and uh, depth that you couldn't get any other way. There are certain aspects of the previous work that comes through that's just kind of randomly appears because I'm randomly laying down the next layer of paint. I couldn't make those marks <clears throat> in a contrived sense. Uh, they just have to happen. But that gives the painting a freshness that um, it wouldn't have had I not done it in that manner or layered it in that way. You know, no painting is done until it's done. Um, so I can erase things, obliterate, or bring things back, put new marks down, um, until I get it to the point that I feel it's, it, it's right. And then I'll set it aside, maybe for a few days, get a fresh look at it again, and if it still seems good, uh, that's it, it's done. It's funny, as you keep doing art, you keep evolving in, uh, in your attitude about what you want the paintings to say. Sometimes you add one little detail to a painting and it changes the whole concept, which means now you're doing a whole new painting, uh, so that's what I did, and uh, and they they worked for me. Um, another thing that um, that I see across much of your work um, is motion. You know, just a sense of motion in in your painting um, and in the collages. Um, in that, like in the recent, in the books, in the book series, it's, it, you know, if you know the material, you know there's motion. There's been ripping, right? I mean, you're showing a rip. Mm. It's not the motion of it happening, but the after effect is that you've seen motion. Yeah, I, 
I like that aspect in the painting and the, well, in anything I do, there is a, there is a, some degree of entropy of, of destruction or something going on that, um, that shows some kind of history to the piece. Mm -hmm. uh, it may give some kind of time element to it. Yeah, a piece that can't be readily figured out instantly tends to be more interesting than a piece that it's all spelled out. Um, and I think the viewer is more uh, pulled into the piece if it takes them a while to uh, figure out what's going on.